Hey guys, what's going on? Um, so it's like 7.50 in the morning. It's Saturday morning. I have to, um, I'm actually on the road now. Heading out of town to go and do some stuff for my mom. She lives in a different town than I do. Which is 45 minutes away, but that's okay. 45 one way, 45 that. It's okay, though. Anyway, so... I'm driving and I'm coming like behind the mall to come out onto the main road and I see a young man by his bike and there's a park ranger in her little truck or whatever and I guess she had stopped him or for whatever reason I don't know if they knew each other um, I don't know if she was just stopping him because he was black but with everything that's going on, it just weighed on me. And I went and I had to, like, I, I did keep driving because I didn't know what was going on. It didn't look violent or anything. Um, but it just kept weighing on me. So I had to loop the whole way around. <laughs> I went the whole way back and rode over there and I checked on him. I, you know, rolled my window down and the park ranger, she, like, looked over at me. And I looked at her and then I looked at him and I was like, are you okay? And he said, yeah, yes, I'm okay. And I said, are you sure? And he smiled, he said, yeah, yeah I'm okay. So, you know, I, I took that as him being okay. So, you know, I left. I, I don't know, I should have probably should have just sat there for a while to see what was going on. I don't know, but, you know, like I said, with everything that's going on in the world, who's to say it's not going to happen in my tiny town? Shoot. Seven-something in the morning, I saw him, like, patting his, his uh, pant legs down. He was, like, patting down and everything, and, like, lifting the legs up and whatnot. That was the first time I went past. That's why I did you know, finally go back around and see what was going on, but there's something in, in 2020, you still have to, like, look out for people of color. You gotta look out for each other, and it's sad that it's still like that to this day. In the year 2020, y'all, we ain't back in the, the slave days. We're not back in the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. Come on. It's just been never ending. Never ending. It's 2020 and it's never ending. And I've been trying not to speak out on this because I don't want to be full of rage. I, I try and push my rage down. I try and push my anxiety down because of all of this that's going on, man. I'm mixed. My mom's black my dad was white he passed already but you know I've dealt with things just from things just from um being mixed <sighs> I have a son I fear for him every day because he's black nephews I fear for every day because they're black even my nieces, I fear for them because they're black. No one's safe. Male or female, adult, kid, it don't matter. If your skin is not white, you're in danger. And it shouldn't be that way. It's just, oh, it's sickening, y'all. It's sickening. I can't, man. It's just... <sighs> like I said, I got bad anxiety I go through panic attacks and whatnot so I, I don't watch the news I try not to watch current affairs and all of that but it's hard not to to know what's going on but I try not to like get too into it because it'll break me down it, it'll really tear me down and I went through it, y'all, for a few days. I went through it, crying and everything, when I saw that poor man. George Floyd, laying on the ground, 
calling out for his mama. You know he was at the end. You know he was at the end. His mom is dead. He's calling out for his mama. A grown man. Because he knows he's dying. You can see the pee running on the, the ground. They let the man pee himself. They, I mean, all of these signs that you're killing this man. You're slowly killing this man. And y'all kept doing it. I can't. I can't, y'all. I can't. I can't talk about it. Anyway, so that's what I, I just wanted to say that I will be watching out for people who might be stopped and they're by themselves, by themselves, or even if they're, you know, with someone. If, it's, if it don't look right to me, I'm going to pull over and say, hey, is everything okay? Are you all right? You need me to call somebody for you? No harm in checking, y'all. There's no harm in checking. And I hope y'all have a good day. Uh, I got more worked up than I intended to, y'all. Making this video, but... You know. So anyway, I hope y'all have a good day. Excuse me. Hey, I, I had to get another ginger ale so I could burp up some more of those hot dogs that are still sitting on me, y'all, from yesterday. Ooh. Anyway, I'm going to go and um, start my day with my mom and get some stuff done for her. I'll be sweating all day, y'all. I'll be sweating. Anyway, I'll see y'all later, guys, on the next video. Have a good one. Stay safe. Stay blessed.